puts another thing off our wedding to-do list. Basically just start going over all of the little details and the wedding timeline. Here are the three I got from Azazi. We are about 100 days away from this. The content is content -y. welcome or welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be another wedding series vlog we are about 100 days away from the big day i feel like the time is literally flying but we have been getting lots done so i'm excited to share some wedding updates with you guys in today's wedding series vlog but before i get into today's video i did want to quickly talk to you guys about magic mine and they are also the sponsor for today's video if you have been watching my videos for a while now i'm sure you guys already know how much i absolutely love magic mind but if you are new here and have never heard of magic mind before magic mind is a brand that created the world's first productivity drink and these are how the productivity drinks look like it does come in a little shot bottle these are not your average energy drinks these productivity shots contain so many amazing ingredients such as matcha adaptogens nootropics it even contains vitamin C and D, which help boost immunity. So these are jam packed with so many amazing ingredients that are good for you, good for your body. They're designed to make your body feel good with that natural boost of energy. It helps keep you focused. It helps decrease stress. It also helps decrease with post-workout inflammation. So literally, truly so many amazing benefits. As you saw earlier, I did make my ice matcha latte and this has been my go-to drink. This is my absolute favorite drink to make and I love making it with Magic Minds productivity shots. As you saw earlier, I literally just mixed my oat milk with one of these productivity shots, added a little bit of my sugar-free skinny syrups into this and added some ice and you guys, this is literally so good. It's sweet, but not too sweet. It honestly just has a very subtle sweetness. Another thing with Magic Mind is they actually just revamped their formula. So this is now known as the Magic Mind 4.0. This is now completely 100% vegan. Their old formula contained honey. Now they use agave instead of the honey. So again, 100% vegan. I do really love this. I'm a huge fan of matcha flavored things. So another thing I really love about the Magic Mind productivity shots is I feel like these act really fast like i feel that kick of energy within i want to say honestly within like 20 minutes if not even sooner so i personally love taking a shot before a workout especially in the mornings because i am not a huge morning person so mornings are a little bit rough for me so i will actually take this 20 minutes before my workout and i notice a huge difference while i take this and again like i said it isn't like your standard energy drinks or coffee so you don't get that post caffeine jitters if you know what i'm talking about if you consume a lot of caffeine i personally used to drink like two cups of coffee a day i now only drink one cup a day and i do substitute my second cup of coffee with a productivity shot from magic mine and that has honestly been working really well for me i love how convenient these are you can literally just throw it in your bag and you're out to go you can throw this in your gym bag so Highly recommend checking out Magic Minds productivity shots. Like I said, I talk about them all the time because I truly do love these shots and they are honestly truly good for you. So it's a win-win situation. They are currently running a campaign right now where you can get a three month subscription of these productivity shots for the price of two. And I will also pop up my discount code on here to tackle off an additional 20% off that price, which pretty much gets three months worth of Magic Mind productivity shots for basically almost the price of one. So it is a great time to take advantage of that deal. As always, I will have this all left in my description below. So definitely check it out. 
But yeah, with all that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my ice matcha latte, and let's go ahead and get right into today's video. been a few days since I last picked up the camera. Today is Saturday and me and my fiance are actually getting ready to go a wedding band shopping. I'm very excited. I have a pretty good idea of what type of band I want, which is basically the matching set to my engagement ring. We are going to the same jeweler where my fiance got my engagement. I was kind of Googling. I know sometimes the bride chooses the ring for her fiance or um, he chooses it for himself or we choose it together. I feel like we're probably going to the route of choosing it together. I actually have no idea what type of ring my fiance wants, so I'm very curious to see what he picks out. But basically, I don't think I've ever shown my engagement ring up close, but basically this is how my engagement ring looks like, and I do want the band to match this, so nothing too crazy, just very simple. I also need to actually get my ring cleaned, so 
I am long overdue for that so I will probably also do that when we shop for wedding rings today but I'm so excited there has been lots of updates the past few days I actually picked up my bridesmaids dresses we have our wedding timeline pretty much all finalized we went over it with our wedding coordinator at our wedding venue I basically sent that timeline to my photographer and they also kind of added in their adjustments to the timeline so so far everything's looking good we're so excited I just I feel like the day is gonna go by so fast when I was kind of going through everything that needs to get done on the wedding timeline but I'm so excited I actually also have my bridesmaids dress swatches right here i did get them in the mail a few weeks ago actually and i was just kind of going back and forth between which shade i wanted like i said in an earlier vlog we are going with a dusty rose theme so that is the color i do want for the bridesmaids dresses and these are pretty much all very similar colors but i'll just quickly show you guys so i haven't quite figured out the that's going to have to work for now I haven't quite figured out where to set my camera in this car and I don't have my tripod with me but I'll just quickly show you guys these swatches so I did order swatches from both Azazi which is a very popular website for bridesmaids dresses and I did also order some from Birdie Gray which I heard great reviews about ultimately I did go with the Azazi but I'll just show you guys the swatches I got so this is everything they sent me. I did pick out three different swatches. So they did send me the three swatches and a little tape measure. Here are the three I got from Azazi. The first one is this Dusty Rose and this is basically the one that I went with. So this is going to be the color of my bridesmaid's dresses. The next shade I got was this vintage mauve color. It is very similar to the Dusty Rose. And then the third one is this right here. It is a blushing, let's see, this is a blushing pink color. I knew I didn't want to go this light, but because I was basically picking out all the same different types of Dusty Rose shades, I did kind of want to pick something a little bit lighter just in case I didn't end up actually liking the Dusty Rose shades. So I do think it is a very gorgeous color as well, just not exactly the vibe I was going for. And then I did also get three from Birdie Gray. So this is how Birdie Gray sends their swatches. Also, I think the swatches I got from Azazi were free. I did get three different swatches for free. I think I just paid like the $3 shipping. And then for the Birdie Gray, I think also very similar. I think I just paid about $3 for shipping. So they are free. So highly recommend ordering swatches before deciding on a color just because sometimes the color may look different from the website than it does in real life, which is was definitely the case in this situation as well. But here is what comes in the birdie gray swatches just this little pamphlet here's the inside okay so i did pick three different swatches of all the dusty rose but in different fabrics um here is the first one this is the chiffon dusty rose and i'll just compare it to the one i actually picked with azazi so here is the Dusty Rose on Azazi and the Dusty Rose on Birdie Gray. Again, they are very similar. This one is a little bit darker. Here is the other swatch. This is in the Crepe Dusty Rose and here is the Mesh Dusty Rose. So again, very gorgeous colors. Again, this is all Dusty Rose, just in different fabrics. So that is just something to note as well, even if you are deciding on a Dusty Rose shade, for example, these were all Dusty Rose, but they were in different fabrics. So the color doesn't come out exactly the same. So what I recommend is actually telling your bridesmaids if you want your dresses to all have the same color is one, either pick the same style in the color that you would like them to wear or give them the color and the fabric. That way you will probably have the best chance of having the same color across all bridesmaids dresses. I did actually end up calling Azazi just to confirm that, um, just because I'm not having my bridesmaids all wear the same dresses, but I do want the shade of Dusty Rose to be the same and the fabric. But yeah, there are hundreds of options on Azazi, so highly recommend checking them out. I think I am just going to 
check on my fiance right now and then we are going to go wedding band shopping i don't know if i could actually vlog inside i know some jewelers don't allow pictures or videos but if i'm able to i will try and take a couple of clips and i will check it with you guys in a bit from my phone right now but we just picked out our wedding bands how do you feel <laughs> accomplished he like has never worn a ring before so i think mm. picking his ring actually took longer than mine but we're both really happy we were in and out in like 40 minutes huh yeah right before they closed yeah <laughs> yeah silly. right before they closed but the owners are very sweet but i'm so excited so my he has his wedding band already so we have it with us right now mine has to actually get ordered because i did one in a different color but i'm very happy with the option i chose and yeah that's another thing off our wedding to-do list but yeah i will check in with you guys in a bit All right, so it has been a couple of days later, but I wanted to just quickly pop on here to close out today's video. I hope you guys have been enjoying all the wedding updates. There is still lots of exciting things to come. I have a couple of more wedding appointments. Me and my fiance have our food tasting appointments. My bachelorette trip is actually coming up in March and my bridesmaids have been busy planning the entire thing. I am honestly so excited. It's going to be so much fun. I will definitely be vlogging that as well. I do also have a couple of outfits lined up, so I will also be sharing a haul on that soon. So lots more wedding content to come. I also wanted to quickly remind you guys to definitely check out Magic Mine. Like I said, they have a great campaign going on right now where you can take advantage of a three month Magic Mine subscription for almost the price of one. Again, I will have my discount code popped on here and all this info left in my description below. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.